Hi, I'm Pastor John from Millerville Community Church. And this is Daily Devotion 190. Today's meditation is taken from the letter written to the Romans, chapter 6, 14. Sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace. I hope your day is going pretty good. How you start it just about determines everything. Have you ever gotten out of bed grumpy? You have the little things in life, you know, you, you go to brush your teeth and you're out of toothpaste. You get up early in the dark and you stub your toe and you begin to think, oh, this is going to be a miserable day. And the things don't just go right. They get irritating to you. The kids are uh, asking and bugging you or Maybe you had a little quarrel or a tiff or someone offended you in some way and the day just goes downhill from there. One of the things we often do is we just sort of react to the situations and we let things get under our skin and irritate us and that begins to set the tone for the rest of the day. One of the reasons we do daily devotions is we want to set a different tone. And rather than just get up and react to the world, we want to respond in faith, in confidence, and in praise of our Almighty Lord. And that makes all the difference in the world because we are no longer slaves to sin. We are living in a sinful world. When you wake up this morning, you get out of your bed, you're living in a fallen, sinful world. And if you let the world lead you with all its bumps and scrapes and irritants, you're going to be grumpy and miserable and you're going to let it beat you down. You could react that way or you could choose to respond. Respond as if you're not under that anymore, that you're under grace. And no matter what comes, no matter what happens, we believe that all things work to good for those that love the Lord. So we give thanks for our kids and we make plans to replace our toothpaste. And we thank the Lord for giving us the resources to do those things. We choose our response. I hope you can choose your response, even over overwhelming emotions that you've carried your whole life. You can choose to respond in faith, in grace, in gratitude to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our prayer today is this, Lord, thank you for teaching me that I don't have to be a victim to my circumstances. I can choose how I face each one. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us continue to pray. Lord, uh, I pray for my brothers and sisters. There are challenges ahead of them, things that just get under their skin, that hit their emotional buttons and things that bother them, that they are truly worried and concerned about that are beyond their control and they can do nothing about it, and yet it's so important. But that's why we have you, Lord Jesus, much higher than us in power and authority to accomplish all things. You who love us so much that you are not taken by surprise by anything and you already have a plan and a way of blessing us in this sinful world. Lord, today we trust you again. We choose to trust you, to praise you, and to move forward in faith looking for the provisions and the grace that you have for us today. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. God loves you so much, and I'm so glad you're part of Daily Devotion and encouraging other people to join us and be a part of our ever-growing family of faith. If you would just take a moment right now and leave a comment below and let us know, like you were journaling, what God is doing for you today. Give him praise and recognize his grace in your life. That would be an encouragement to us and an encouragement to others. This has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church encouraging you as always to keep the faith and to share it too.